Hello everyone, my name is Yogi and today we are covering slow and fast beats and syncopation. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, then please click over there. So let's start music theory. So our today's topic is slow and fast beat. This is one of the simplest uh, topic we have in grade 2. Okay, as uh, you have learned earlier also about the you know directions and all those speeds, what do we call them? Like adagio means slow, allegro means fast. So it is about that. In in the simplest way, I will tell you what you can do is no matter what the note value is, it doesn't matter. It's a crotchet value. Is it a crotchet note? Is it a minim note? Or is it a semi brave note? Or is it a quaver note? Or semi quaver note? If the speed has written uh, 112 that means it is fast and if it is written 60 that means it is slow now what written here is about it they are saying that even the piece is 3 by 8 time signature that means 3 quaver beat in one bar yes that does not mean that that song uh, has to be fast it can be slow adagio also and if a piece is in a 2 by 2 time signature, that does not mean that song has to be slow. It can be fast also. Allegro. Okay. Now what else they are talking about? They are talking about the uh, beat per minute. That is called metronome. If you will read here, see it's written. MM is a short for uh, Mazel's metronome. MM is usually left out so that the making is written like this. So whenever you see uh, nowadays in pieces, uh, before on top of the pieces they write something like this. So you can see, see here the mm minimum beat is equal to hundred means hundred minimum beats per minute. So this means whatever the note value is showing, this is crotchet. This, that means the hundred crotchet beats per minute. So if you if you see if this is if you see a uh, you know a, a quaver beat. 100 beat per minute so that is as equal speed as a crotchet beat 100 crotchet per beat so there is no difference okay so don't get confused if you see uh, a quaver in a 120 speed and you see a minim in uh, 120 speed and you feel that the quaver will be faster no they both will be same speed so let's do the exercises so you will get more uh, example with that okay so we start with this arrange the metronome marking in order of speed of the beat so let's start here they written mm so we have to arrange from fastest beat to the slowest beat in the only crotchet beats are given here so let's start we'll start with the uh, crotchet beat 112 now next is a crotchet beat uh, is equal to 100 okay because we have to go from top to bottom okay next we have a crotchet beat is equal to 72 then a crotchet beat is equal to 60 and then crotchet beat is equal to 48 okay that's how you do it now let's do the next exercise okay in now in the next one they have said that arrange the metronome marking in the order of the speed of the beat now you see here they have given us a minimum beat okay so let's start from the fastest the fastest would be 148 minimum is equal to 148 beat per minute then we can go minimum 132 then minimum 120 then minimum 60 and then minimum 48 okay now let's move on to the next page now so in next phase they are saying arrange the metronome marking in order of the speed of the beat quaver crotchet or minim now this is the confusion question they have given here they have given different kind of uh, note values and then they have given the speed with that so don't get confused here with the note value you just have to see the uh, numbers which is the fastest number so first will come here the fast beat will be minimum 112 equal to 112 then next is 84 so that is a crotchet beat which is 84 beat per minute then after that is 72 that is again minimum then you see after 72 it is 60 and that is a quaver 
60 beat per minute then it's again a quiver 48 beat per minute okay now let's move on to the next one next one again same question they're asking and they have given different timings now so let's start here so first will come 132 fastest to slow now this is a crotchet beat which is 132 beat per minute then again a crotchet beat which is 120 beat per minute then a minim beat which is 112 beat per minute then we have quiver beat which is 72 beat per minute and then again we have minim beat here which is 48 beat per minute okay now let's move on to the next exercise now in this one they have us take the line of music which uh, with the fastest beat per minute quiver crotchet or minim now we have to take the piece here which is the fastest one so now if you see with these markings only with this directions only they say the adagio means slow that means 66 beat per minute doesn't matter it's a quiver still it is 66 beat per minute okay now allegro means fast so anyways we can say with the written allegro that this is the fastest one but still to read it we need see minim beat is equal to 120 beat per minute so simply this is 66 beat per minute doesn't matter it's a quiver but this is 120 beats per minute so that means these are the more beats in one within one minute so minim beat so this will be faster than this one now the third one they say andante andante means a medium speed uh, in a simple way and it's a crotchet beat which is 76 beats per minute so in a simple way you can see the minim beat which is 120 beat per minute is the fastest piece here okay so we will take mark this piece okay now we finish our this topic here slow and fast let's move on to our next topic so today's second topic is syncopation now in a simplest way syncopation is just that when you start a music off bit or it just or if you change the natural pattern into a natural pattern uh, I'll explain it to you so this is if you read here this written the same thing like when you start the so uh, song on an off beat no and not on a not natural beat for example if you see two by four that means two crotchet note in one bar that means one two okay so remember the syncopation is in all the songs we use syncopation if you see generally it's all the songs patterns when you use when you write rhythm you use a lot of syncopation but this is very easy to understand but it's very confusing also so don't get confused with that a lot just remember in a simpler way the syncopation means when you start off beat or you change the accent of the beat I, uh, like this one two so here the beat will be one two you all you if you play music you know that in over here the one is the strongest beat and two is the weakest beat so whenever you count we count one two one two one two but if sometimes if you give this second accent one two one two so you know that the sound of music will change but here what they else they have done they have broken here so this should have been one and two and right but what they did they did one and two they missed the two they added two over here and then and so instead of one and two and what they did one and and so they eaten uh, they missed the beat not the beat but they covered the beat over here with the and over here uh, if you see in the example you will see here see we play one and two and as I have written over here one and two and but what they have done they mix the two with the and here and that's what they made the beat okay so remember syncopation is about starting off beat or it is more about the accent how you put the accent on the music when you don't see a natural accent in the sound so you can see some uh, syncopated uh, patterns here we have to just ostinati it that means we have to repeat it as we have learned in the grade one about the ostinati so you can see in the patterns here you can see that this is four by four they should have been one two three four but what they have done one two three four so that's how they have uh, changed it okay so and in this one you will say one two but they again they had one and two and that's what they have done okay so let's just do this one first then we'll move on so we just have to repeat these beats 
Uh, so let's use the scale. Then next beat. And crotch it not. Same thing again. And the last one is also same. You can see this common time, you know, is two by two. So remember, two by two, uh, we write one, two, but they have done one and two and that's why. Okay. So just repeat it. Let's move on to the next page now. Now in the next page, they have only uh, repeating the same question. So let's just do finish that first, four by four. Let's make the notes. See, this type of topics can confuse you, though there is no uh, big deal to understand these ones, but they still confuse you. Okay, let's do the next one. Time signature is 3 by 2. Crotchet note, minim beat, crotchet, minim. See, this is a 3 by 2 time signature in which we are supposed to write either a semi brave dotted note or 3 crotchet or 3 uh, minim beat. But here they have not. If we would have counted, we could have counted one, two, three, one, two, three, but they change it one and and three, yeah, like that. So they just change the pattern of uh, from the normal pattern, that's what they have done. So, yeah, I've written this note wrong. Place. See, very be very careful like this kind of mistakes when you're giving exam. Okay, now next question we have is write four rhythmic rhythms using the note and rest values you know include at least one syncopated pattern. So we have to write a rhythm over here by using our rest notes and the syncopated pattern at least one. So let's start with three by two. Before we start, let's mark the Bars now in three by two. Remember, either we could have write semi brave dotted or we can write three minims, right? So, but instead of writing it normally, let's start it with a crotchet rest and then we'll give a one crotchet beat. So instead of where, where if we would have given accent on one, one, but we cannot give accent now on one. We giving accent on and, one, and, then we write two, and three. So we have changed the accent. If, uh, if we were writing in a natural way, then it will be one, two, three, one, two, three. But now it's and one, two, and so one and two, three, one and two, three, like that. So we have changed the accent of it, okay? Uh, next, let's write a minim beat here. One more minim beat and one minim rest, okay? Next, we can do a semi brave and one 
crotchet rest and then one crotchet beat and last we can give a rest well, let's do a semi brave dotted note dotted semi brave note okay next is two by two two by two means we should have two minim beats in one bar yeah now over here what we can do is instead of start doing a normal one two we start with a crotchet beat then we can give one minim and then we can finish with one crotchet beat so instead of one two we started one and two and okay so we have changed the accent over there next we can write here one semi brave rest then we can write here two quiver note then one crotchet beat then we can write one minim beat then we can finish with one uh, let's write two minim beat okay now next we have four by four that means we should have four crotchet beat in one bar now what we're doing is instead of counting straight away one two three four one two three four we're doing it we'll give accent here and we'll change the pattern of three so we'll miss three over here in the rhythm so it will count with the two one two three four one two so we instead of giving accent here on three we changed it we did not give any accent over here on three so this pattern has changed yeah so now let's uh, write this as two crotchet beat then we can have one crotchet rest and then we can have two quiver and we can have one minim one crotchet beat and then two semi quiver sorry quivers not semi quivers and then we can have one semi beat okay the last one is two by four so that means two crotchet beat in one bar so here we can start with a semi quiver then we can give one crotchet beat and finish with the quiver so this is a single pattern pattern the normal pattern would be here two crotchet beat now here we can give a quiver rest then we can to finish this first we have to make a quiver beat and then we can have one quiver beat in here and then in the end we can do with one mini beat okay friends so here we finish our this topic now i will see you in another topic till then thank you